Rishi Sunak's latest net zero plans has been leaked and in this video we're going to explain how both the left and the right of the Tory party are coming for the Prime Minister. I can assure you the Prime Minister did not have an easy sleep last night. Uh, his plans were leaked, uh, although at this point you can never guess. What is happening inside the establishment? Was it the civil servants? Was it one of the advisors? Was it one of the MPs who didn't like the plans? Or was it a self-leak to prepare the announcement? Uh, essentially, the Prime Minister was supposed to be talking to us on Friday about some U-turns on net zero. And uh, this was leaked last night on Tuesday night. So in the middle of the night, he had to release a statement, which we're going to read out in a second. And now at 4 p.m., he's going to be um, making a big announcement. So basically, the political left are having a meltdown because he's making U-turns, uh, but uh, his U-turns are not even proper planned. So, it's basically standing in the middle of the road, getting hit by both sides. One is on the gas boilers. Um, essentially, as you always know, the global consensus is to get rid of all the old-school, traditional gas boilers and, re and replace them with these modern ones, smart ones, and uh, his, the plan was to essentially force everybody to change them soon, within the next few years. And uh, Part of the plan is now going to be to remove that target uh, and that discipline. So the Prime Minister is going to say, basically, we could have an ambition, but let's not force the British people to change it within a certain uh, within a time frame. So that's one. But on the issue of cars, petrol and diesel cars, as you guys know, the other global consensus is around this, uh, to ban it uh, by 2030. And uh, the Rishi Sunak government, so the plans that have been leaked, mentioned that they, they want to move their, change that date to 2035. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> so by moving it from 2030 to 2035, they are angering the Green Tories and the Socialists. But by moving it from 30 to 35, they're not even actually satisfying the anti-net zero people either. So... It, because what's the point of remo uh, moving it for five years? A lot of people say just completely get rid of the target. But uh, that's where we are. So there are some green Tories uh, like Alok Sharma. Uh, I believe he's now Sir Alok Sharma, who was the president of COP26 as well. And he cried at the end of the conference when they didn't achieve anything. That was funny to see. And uh, so these guys are basically saying, well, we have to put in a letter of, letters of no confidence in uh, the prime minister. So this is what's happening now. Although there have been a couple of the green Tories. I, I love how there's now a phrase called green Tories. <laughs> green socialist Tories in parliament who are who have been quite loud over the last 12 hours saying that we have to put in the letters of no, no confidence. We have to trigger a leadership challenge because the prime minister is not listening to us. The Prime Minister is literally only listening to you guys. That's the whole point of it. And uh, But the political right are also not satisfied. They are saying, well, he's still committed to net zero. He's making tiny U-turns because the elections are coming up. But he's not really anti-net zero, is he? So this whole saga has forced the Prime Minister to re release a statement in the middle of the night last night. But it seems like it was already prepared. Hmm. Saying, I know people are frustrated with politics. And want real change. Yeah, can you resign? <laughs> our political system rewards short-term decision-making that is holding our country back for too many years. Politicians in governments of all stripes have not been honest about costs and trade-offs. Instead, they have taken the easy way out, saying we can have it all. That's literally what you've been doing, but all right, fair enough. This realism doesn't mean losing our ambition or abandoning our commitments. Far from it. I am proud that Britain is leading the world on climate change. We are committed to net zero by 2050 and the uh, agreements that we have made internationally, but doing so in a better, more proportionate way. Our politics must gain put um, the, the long-term interests uh, of uh, our country before the short-term uh, political needs of the moment. He continues by saying, no leak will stop me. Uh, beginning the process of telling the country how and why we need to change. As a first step, I'll be giving a speech this week uh, to set out an important long-term decision we need to keep so our country becomes the place I know we will want uh, it to be for our children, blah, blah, blah. See, when, when he says that, when he goes tough on the, the, the incident of leak, it makes me think, what if they leaked it themselves? <laughs> 
<laughs> to make him look strong and say, hey, I don't care about leaks. In fact, I'm going to make an announcement proactively. You seem very confident. Very hard, are you? <laughs> so, yeah, the tough prime minister, Rishi Sunak, is a... Uh, yeah, he's, he's not really angry about the leaks. He's uh, taking it as an, using it as an opportunity to talk to the nation. We will fight them on the beaches, according to Rishi Sunak. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying any of this. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.